What is up, fishing freaks? Luke Reeser here from Two Fat to Hunt Outdoors. Welcome back to another episode. Got the whole gang with us today. Got the kids lined up. Papa Stacy lined up. Mama's in the truck being a crybaby because she says it's cold. Anyways, we're just soaking some night crawlers today. We're trying to catch a fish. We're going to eat it. As long as it's legal, we're going to cook it and eat it. We're kind of hoping for a sucker today. We've never done a sucker catch and cook. If we were to catch a walleye or a pike, that'd be great. But uh, I have a feeling if we do catch a fish, it's going to be a sucker. So it is what it is. So we got the, the bank lined up. I do have a pole over there. And uh, we're going to see see what we can come up with. So stay tuned. At donkey hunting starts right now. Did you say cats cook and Alexa's going to eat it? Sure. Was, it, was yours moving? When it's moving like that, it's when they got a good. Take set it, set that hook. Owen says he's got a fish. He's coming. Here he comes, here he comes dragging his fish. <laughs> it's a marlin, he says. He's been hanging around Manch too long. It's a marlin. I'm stretching it. Nice job. I literally just let it sit there for a second and then picked it up and reeled, started reeling and then just hit it. It's got bigger scales. That's cross with the red horse. Mm. Sucker don't have that big of scales. Can I still use the worm? He's a cross to the sucker and the red horse. I still use the old horn. Or no? No, I'll get you a new one. You got a fish? No, you don't. All right. <laughs> it's like we're eating sucker tonight. Let's go. Oh, you go. Oh, that's well, since we already got our sucker, we know we're going to cook something. I'm going to try to catch a pike. Got this spoon here. Fifty pound fluorocarbon leader. Let's try to catch a pike. This flutter spoon, ideal is probably not a heavy action rod, fifty pound braid. <laughs> it's probably not ideal. It casts all right. I just wish I had a lighter rod. I really wasn't planning on doing this. I was just going to soak a night crawler on this rod. Would have brought something different. She wants to go. Oh, all right. So we got one sucker fish. And I bled him out. That's we nasty. got them in a bucket of water. It's Where'd nasty. Put now? So we're going to go home and we're going to clean it. And then we're going to cook it. And then we're going to eat it. All right. <clears throat> so first thing I'm going to do is tell you that I am no means an expert fish cleaner. But I'm going to show you how I clean a sucker. Now I went ahead and bled them out. So hopefully that helped a little bit. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scale them. And to help me scale this sucker, I'm gonna use my scaling board. Clamp it on there like that. Cause that works so well. <laughs> Isn't that supposed to? I'm using a spoon, my wife's good spoon. Because I think that a spoon works better than a knife for scaling, just my opinion. I 
pretty much got her. All right, now I'm gonna clean this mess up quick. All right, now that I got my mess cleaned up, I got my fish scaled. You can see all the scales are off of them. I'm gonna go ahead and use my electric knife just because that's what I like to clean with. And I'm just gonna clean them like I do any other fish. Except for, I'm gonna go all the way off. Now I got my big hunk of meat there. I'm gonna go over here and do this side. All the way out instead of stopping. Like with a bluegill, I usually stop, flip it over because I'm gonna leave the skin on them. All right, now this is carcass. This is going bye bye Now I'm just going to cut out the rib bones. You can see here the rib cage is right here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that out and everything down here belly meat wise. Now I got one big flay, one piece of meat that is absolutely riddled with Y bones. But we're not going to pay attention to that right now. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do about that here in a minute. Go ahead and cut this one out. Alright, there's my second piece. Alright, so I got the fish uh, cleaned off and I got them in a bucket, a little container of water there. I got a plate so I can eat on. Got some fish batter. And I got my deep fryer, and the reason that I'm hook, cooking them in the deep fryer is because I want this grease really hot to dissolve these Y bones. So I'm going to wait till it gets to 375 before I put any fish in, and I don't, didn't think I could get that hot cooking on my hot plate or my uh, propane stove outside. So, And we're losing daylight, and my driveway is a mountain, so I had to move the fish cleaning table up further into the garage that's why we're staring at my wife's car but anyways while the grease is getting hot I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with these flays so that the bones will dissolve this is called scoring so I'm going to score these flays so I'm going to do first now I got my good knife out I'm going to get rid of this nasty piece here so I don't want to I don't want to bite into that so what we're going to do is we're going to go down through this whole fillet about every eighth of an inch or so and I'm going to make a cut all the way down to the skin that I left on. That's why I left the skin on is so that I can cut all the way down through these Y bones to break them up. Then when I get batter on there and I drop it into the hot grease, that hot grease will go in those slits that I make and dissolve those Y bones. So I'm going to make a cut all the way down. To the skin. You can feel when you hit the skin. And you can feel, I can feel my knife cutting through them Y bones. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There we go. Now, we're all perforated. You can see that, that's what you want it to look like. I'm gonna throw it back in the water for now. Get this one out and I'm gonna do the same exact thing. As long as well as get rid of this nasty piece that I don't wanna bite into. All 
All right. Well, I got both pieces scored. My grease is warming up. I got some New Orleans seasoning. I'm going just basic tonight. Just plain old seasoning. Not mixing anything else in with it. Nice cold bush light is also a big key player into kind of like oranges. deep frying these suckers. All right, the light just went off. She's 375. I'm waiting for Stacy to come back out because he just ran up to get me the Old Bay. I decided we can't cook fish without Old Bay. It's like against the rules. It's going to snow. My knee's starting to hurt. Yeah. <laughs> you got one of those... Uh, knees that start to hurt when it's gonna snow yeah must all right got the old old bay choice of champions we're gonna pack it in there all right here we go sucker i'm gonna really get it down in really work it down in them score holes I'm gonna work it on the skin. Good. Like I'm just gonna do one flay per basket since I got two baskets. Since they're big flays. All right, there's one. Good thing Owen caught us a fish to eat, <laughs> since I can't catch any freaking fish. Last how many trips? All right, and there's number two. Here we go, dropping down. And we got sucker fish cooking. My deep fryer is nasty right now because I haven't cleaned it in a while. Yeah, I'm hoping the girls and Owen will come down and try this. <laughs> you guys... Are you guys gonna try this fish? Yeah, no one's gonna eat this fish. We can't find the black attachment that was on the hoverboard. Where'd you put it? The what? The black hoverboard attachment. Um, that was my size. One of them might be back here, one of them's in the gun room. Alright. They should be a done. Unplug my fryer. Oh, lady's here. She'll try it. Nope. Look, look, yuck. What do you mean yuck? It's two oh, big pieces of fish. It's just like bluegill. Look how white the meat is. Mm-mm-mm. All right, folks. Here we go. We got our sucker flays right here. I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and give it a try. It smells like fish. Here we go. It's really mushy. Is it? Well. Yeah. Yeah, cold water. Might be because it's. It's not bad. I mean, it's not fishy tasting. Might have been better if it was something salt water. That's true. Normally, I let all my fish soak in salt water overnight. It kind of firms them up. It's not bad, but it's kind of flavorless. Oh. It's a mild fish. I found a Y bone. Didn't cook up. Yeah, it's not a real fishy tasting fish unless you get part of that blood bone. There really wasn't a blood bone in there because I bled it out. Well, it's in the meat. Yeah, it's kind of mushy, but it ain't bad. I haven't felt no bones. I've been eating the smaller pieces because I figured that's where the more bones would be. About as mild as you can get. Don't even taste like your mild water. 
Oh, there's no fishy taste at all. But overall, I'm very impressed with the way that tasted. There's like no fishy, nasty taste. It was very good tasting meat. It, it's mushy texture wise, but it tasted very good. Semi mushy, I wouldn't call it mushy. Yeah, kind of semi mushy. But anyways, it tasted pretty good, and I might just keep a couple more next time I go and uh, try to pickle them. See how that is. I know a lot of people have done that. My dad used to do that too. Luke Reeser signing off, Too Fat to Hunt Outdoors. Always remember, you're never too fat to fish.